what we're doing here is making a copper oxide rectifier. This is our center post for the crystal battery. And you can see that this is black. We're going to take this off from the flame. See the flame? See how black it is? And then we're going to dip it in borax. Watch here. And all the black's going to come off. The flake off. And this is your rectifier. Is right underneath this. So to test this rectifier, we're gonna take it over to a meter, and that's what we want because we want this rectifier on here. We only want it to go one way in the crystal battery. So there's your oxide. Okay, and now we'll move over to some place to test it. So now we're measuring the uh, rectifier. You can see the meter's not showing anything. You can see we're in reverse polarity here because the copper's going to end up positive. Now watch when I turn it around. See it go? See it went all the way over? So that's your rectifier. That's making your one-way gauge valve right there. Now. If we scrape this, we can check it with this oscillator right here. Take a little piece of paper, set it on there, just check it. And that's alum water. This is going to be the positive. The green wire is the negative over yeah. there. I just need a place to get the clip on. See, because it's oxidized. Okay, so this is your positive. And then we just set that on there. Just to see the direct fire works. And there's your light. See? So it's only going to go one way here. On this device. So that's how you make the positive post for the semiconductor battery. And that's semiconductor. All, all this right here. And we'll clean it off a little bit better before we put it in the cell. Thanks. Thanks, everybody.